Hi there, today I'm gonna to show you 10 simple ways you can take notes while reading on your Kindle so you can actually remember everything you read and apply the lessons you learn to your life. Let's jump into it. The first way to take notes on your Kindle is very, very simple. It's probably the best feature the Kindle has and that is highlighting. Simply highlighting things that stand out to you, things that really mean a lot to you. Press and hold on a word, drag across the entire sentence, the entire paragraph, or the entire page even. You can highlight so much much while reading books. This is a great way to start taking notes, simply highlighting the important things that resonate with you as you read. The second way I have over here for taking notes is actually meant for audiobooks. I don't want to leave audiobooks out. You can listen to audiobooks on your Kindle or on your phone. It doesn't matter, but taking notes while listening to audiobooks is not as easy because you can't highlight anything while you're reading. The way I like to do it is using an app called Drafts. The Drafts app actually has an Apple Watch app, which is very, very useful. While I'm listening to audiobooks while I'm either in the gym or driving the car, doing laundry, whatever it might be, I simply have my Apple Watch on me and I press the Drafts app on the home screen. I can simply talk into my watch. It'll make a voice note and transcribe what I'm saying into a note. Then I can transfer those notes later on into my note taking app. This is a great way of taking notes while listening to books. There's no writing or typing involved. It's all done through your voice. It's so much easier this way. You can do it while multitasking. The third third way of taking notes while reading books is actually using the notes feature on your Kindle. When you highlight something on your Kindle, you'll get a pop-up with a menu option for taking a note. I recommend doing this as often as you possibly can. It does take a few extra seconds, but if you have a thought in your mind while you're highlighting something, it is so much better to capture that thought while it's fresh in your mind. It's very hard to remember those things that you were thinking while you're reading after the fact. So I always try to leave little notes whenever I can while reading books. Right after a highlight, I press the note button, I type in a quick note. That is a great way of taking notes while reading. Moving on to number four now, the fourth way of taking notes over here is actually more about reviewing your notes. Now on your Kindle, you're gonna have a book on your home screen called Clippings. This is where all your highlights and notes that you've taken while reading books will actually end up. And the great thing about this is you can go back in here and review all the old highlights and notes that you've had before. This is super important because highlighting and taking notes is definitely important, but actually reviewing those notes and highlights is actually will help you retain that knowledge. So this Clippings book on your home screen is something that you should revisit once in a while to review all those highlights and insights you made from previous books. Next up, we have number five over here. This is actually a very cool feature that I only just recently discovered, and I think it's a great way to review your notes and highlights without actually having to use your Kindle at all. Let me explain what I mean. First up, you go to a book on your Kindle that you've already highlighted and taken notes in. You go to the little line menu next to the AA icon on the top menu bar, then go to the notes and highlights section. At the bottom over here, you're gonna see a button for exporting your notes. This is so cool because what it'll actually do is it'll email you a copy of all the notes and highlights you took in that book to your Amazon email address. This is so useful because it'll actually generate a whole PDF with all the notes and highlights nicely organized in a very clean document and email it to you directly. It also includes a spreadsheet with all your notes and highlights. This is a super easy way to get your notes for one book off your Kindle and onto your computer. Definitely a way to revise your notes and review them regularly too. All right, these next five tips I have over here are probably the more advanced options over here. So definitely don't feel like you have to do these, but I do think these next five are definitely the ones that'll help you retain the most knowledge from the highlights and notes that you take on your Kindle. Let me jump into those right now. Starting off at number six over here, we have a tool called Readwise. Now I've talked about Readwise in several of my other videos. It's a paid service Service, which I strongly recommend for any Kindle user who takes note-taking seriously. I have a free trial link if you wanna try it out down below. It is an affiliate link, it'll help me support this channel if you're into that, but no pressure. If you just wanna try the free trial, you can do that too. What it basically does is automates everything for your highlights. Let me explain what I mean by that. Every time you highlight something while reading on a Kindle, it gets really annoying having to export all your highlights from every single book using the methods I talked about before. What Readwise does is automate all of this. Once you make a Readwise account, you can log into your Amazon account and connect everything together. It'll actually take all your Kindle highlights 
automatically from all the books you've already read, as well as all the books you read in the future and import them into the Readwise database. And then what you can do is review your highlights through their daily email or through the Readwise app. It is so, so cool. I love using the Readwise app every single day. I review five random Kindle highlights I have in the Readwise app. I can build a streak. I can see my insights. I can tag my highlights. I can do so much within the Readwise application. And it's so easy to review all these highlights in an automated way. Every single day you could have it set to email you these highlights. There's no manual effort required. It's all automatic. There's no exporting or importing. All you have to do is make an account connect to Readwise once with your Amazon account and all your highlights will automatically end up in your email inbox or in the Readwise app, whichever one you prefer. Definitely a basic function that I think really helps the reviewing your highlights. Tip number seven I have over here takes this one step up a notch. So you have Readwise already, you're already reviewing your daily highlights. The next thing you can do is actually use Readwise to export all of your existing highlights and new highlights into an app like Evernote or Notion. At this point, you have a database of all your books and all your highlights within Evernote or Notion, and you can do so much in here. You can organize them however you'd like. You can tag them. You can add even more notes. You can highlight your highlights. You can go back and reference them anytime you want because they're probably gonna be in the app that you're using already on a daily basis. This is such an advanced feature that simply is not possible by manually having to go and export all your notes. Readwise just automates this entire process for you and you can really use this tool to help you learn more and retain the knowledge you're learning in the books. Now putting Readwise aside, I do love that tool a lot, but there are a few more things you can do that will really help with your retention when it comes to taking notes on your Kindle and actually learning things from the books that you read. This next idea I have over here is something I just recently started right now in January and that is my book club. Being part of a book club really helps with retention in reading a book. Right now, me and a hundred other people are reading Atomic Habits together. We're reading one chapter every single day, and after every single chapter, we post discussions in the discussion forum. This actually forces me and everybody else to really think about what we're reading and how it applies to our life, and then write it down into a discussion post to share with everybody else. And we actually spend some time going back and forth, having discussions. This is a great way to actually synthesize your thoughts and learn something from the book and apply it to your own life. If you want to join our book club, link down below for that. The plan is to read one nonfiction book every single month. I'm really excited about that and would love to have you be part of it. Moving on to tip number nine, I call this one reading in public. What I mean by that is spending a little time after you read a book and creating a blog post or a Twitter thread. This is actually something I did recently and I'm going to be doing more often as well. It's something I really like because it really forces you to take concepts that you're learning and spend some extra time writing them out and really improve your retention understanding about that topic. It's very similar to the idea of the book club during discussion posts, but this time you're posting it out in the world for anyone to see. It's a great way to meet other people as well. I strongly recommend the idea of reading in public. It could be through blog posts, Twitter threads, even Instagram or YouTube videos, whatever you want to do. Just find a way to make content about the books you read and share the knowledge you're learning. You actually learn by teaching. Last up over here, we have number 10. And now this is going to be a surprise to a lot of people, but I still stand by this today. I do think the best way to take notes while reading on a Kindle is with old fashioned pen and paper. I always have a notebook next to me when reading in bed. I actually stopped keeping my phone next to me in bed and I now I have to use my notebook and pen to write down any thoughts that come to mind. I also use the built-in note-taking feature on the Kindle, don't get me wrong, that's still very helpful. But when something really comes to mind, like a long thought, and I really wanna jot it down, writing it down in a notebook with a pen and paper really, really makes it stick and I love going back and reading my handwritten notes. That is something that does require a lot of extra work. Having a notebook with you also isn't always possible, but if you can do it, I strongly recommend it. I think writing down things with pen and paper is still the best way to really retain what you want to learn. Those are my 10 simple tips for taking notes while reading on a Kindle. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other video talking about 10 tips to read more books. It's a very similar format to this video. I think you'll like that too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.